Papa was a blues man, gave me the blues, hand me down. And alligator shoes, man, gave me the blues, hand me down. We've had people get married that met each other at our shows that night. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> The old school soul music from Vintage Treble transports listeners back in time. The performances by Vintage Treble are performances to remember, from opening for the Rolling Stones to touring with The Who. The band has been praised as the stuff the best soul and rock and roll is made of, and was crowned by the BBC Radio 6 as the heirs of rhythm and blues. When you live in LA, or probably when you live in any big city, you know there are a lot of musicians around. So I know Nolly because we've been playing together probably for about 17 years in different little things along the way. Um, saw him play in a band. The first time I saw him play was with a, you know with a friend of mine, and then after that it was like trying to sneak in sessions, figure out whatever we could play together, do whatever. I met Rick at a session. Um, second, we met each other. I was like, oh come on, we gotta play bass every time we play bass. Um, Richard we used to we used to have this friend called Billy Jane, and we, there used to be these late night jam sessions in Laurel Canyon, like, and we would play from you know midnight till sunrise. And then, so what happened was we all got free. There was a little pocket of time that everyone was free. Like a bell in a steeple, I'm calling you out to the dance floor, people. Well, why you trying to be cool? We all got together, and in a second, we started playing. Like this, this first second, the first song we played was Vintage Trouble, and Richard started playing this fill. You know, we did a count in when we were going to come in, and Richard filled in the entire count in with a drum fill. So then we knew that it was going to be wild enough for everybody else, and that was it. We started playing Blues Hand Me Down, and, and we just looked at each other, and that was, that was the beginning. We never even decided to be a band. It was just three weeks after that we were playing shows. Three months after that we were doing a, a, a CD that we recorded in three days. We never sat and looked at each other and said, are you guys sure we really want to do this? It was happening before we could even make that decision. And so that's how we got started. I love the 1950s and 60s. It's, 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 I mean, we'll vote on this couch and we'll all say it's easily one of the best times in music ever, the 1950s and 60s, because it's when rhythm and blues and rock and roll met. However, this year for us has been about, you know, there are a lot of people living today that are going to be the legacies of tomorrow, you know, the legends. And so we've done a lot of studying a lot of today's music. We've had the honor of playing so many festivals and it's been great because it's been during this writing process that we're in. So it's nice to actually be influenced by a lot of, of people today um, rather than only people of yesterday. This is a message and a calling So get up and gather around everyone I've been withering and dying, trembling from trying, barely crawling. We actually ended up spending actually our whole first year just playing in Los Angeles on our own. You know, we couldn't afford to go anywhere, so we played four night, four or five nights a week. You know, for a whole year, and 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 kind of ha had a great time, you know, and that was truly the start of everything. We got lucky, we got on a TV show in, in UK called Later with Jules Holland, and that kind of changed our lives in a way. Nobody told me, nobody told me, nobody told me how heavy this life will be. A lot of what we do, you know, obviously the emphasis is, you know, American, old American music, you know, but so many of those musicians early on and even today have gone over to Europe, you know, there's just been such an incredible synergy back and forth, you know, um, and then they take it and they spit it back out and they bring it back to America, you know, so for an American band to come to Europe, 
um, has been a huge honor, you know. Music rooted in that early 50s and 60s, you know, old soul, rhythm and blues, early rock and roll. Um, it's still alive and kicking today in such a beautiful way. We have a song called Run Like the River and it gets really crazy during the show and, and, and it's really, really crazy. But still, to this day, one of my favorite Run Like the River videos is we pulled, we were doing a show um, the, at Loch Ness, right, near the, near the water, and we pulled our, cell, our bus over and we took out the kick drum and we went out by the water and got acoustic instruments and to the rhythm of the lake, we played run like the river and to, to this day and you can hear the lake louder than you can hear me singing and it's easily one of my favorite performing moments we've ever had and and, and probably my top three run like the river videos <laughs> 